Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solution and this is how you set up your new iPad. Hello guys, this is Eric with another video and today I want to show you how you set up your new iPad. Now, the iPad been around for a long time, so uh, usually 99% of everybody pretty much know how to set up your iPad. But these are some of the newcomers. If you this is your first time getting an iPad and you want to know how to set it up, let's go through the steps on how to set up your iPad. First of all, when you first turn on your iPad, you get this Ola and all kinds of different languages. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead on and let's open it up. And you have to select what language, uh, whether or not it's English, Espanol, and French. Uh, so you go on and for my purposes, I'm going to click on English. Okay, so uh, you want to select what region you're in. Uh, I'm in the United States, so I'm going to click here. So, right now, um, I want to go on and select your Wi-Fi network. This is LTE, so I don't have to set up any Wi-Fi networks. I can go ahead on and use my cellular connection, but I'm going to set up my Wi-Fi network just for this video. And I'm going to put in my password. Join your network. You want to join your Wi-Fi network, okay? Next. Okay, you, you can do and uh, you can enable your location services if you like. You can disable your location services. So today, for video purposes, we can go on and, and enable your location services. The next screen says, set up your iPad. Okay, now, you could do two things. You can set up your iPad as a new iPad. If this is your first time having an iPad, you're gonna select that. Or you can restore from an iCloud backup or you can restore from an iTunes backup. So today, we're gonna to go ahead and set this up as a new iPad. Now, here's where it get complicated at. If, if you are a new iPad user, you have to create a Apple ID or sign in to your Apple ID, okay? Now, if you never had an iPhone or iPad before, go ahead and take the, the time right now and set up your new Apple ID. It's real simple. Now, you do gonna need a source, a credit card or a debit card to put in um, for Apple purposes. This is the only way you can get to the App Store and download apps, okay? Some paid apps or whatever, but they have a lot of security procedures involved, so you're okay. All right, so once you've created your new free Apple ID, let's go ahead on and I'm gonna go ahead on and sign into mine. All right, okay. Now, after you sign in or you created a new Apple ID, okay, the next thing you do is you, you come to what's called the terms and conditions, all right? So you have to either disagree or agree. Here's the thing, if you disagree, it's gonna push you back. So let's go ahead and hit agree, and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna agree? All right. At this point, you can use iCloud, or you do not have to use iCloud. What this does is it take all your photos, contacts, and calendars and upload it to the cloud. So, uh, for video purposes, we could go ahead on and use iCloud. And here, this is very important. Find my iPad. What happens is, if you ever lose your iPad, if you ever have an issue with your iPad and you misplace it, you can go to a computer or to another iOS device and you can find your iPad. And that's, that's a pretty neat thing. So yes, we're gonna go on hitting that. The next screen, we have what's called Touch ID. If you have an iPad Air or iPad Air 2, uh, if you have an iPad Air 2, you have what's called Touch ID. Okay, so I'm going to set up my Touch ID. And what you do is you place your fingers at the bottom and it's going to register your finger. Okay, and this is for security purposes only. All right. And we're going to hit continue and we're going to try this again. And what it's doing is taking uh, photos of your fingerprint. And again, this is for security purposes only. All right. 
No, I tell you, create a password. Find a chance your fingerprint doesn't register. We can go on and create a password, okay? So I'm going to create a password. All right. Use, now here it says use Touch ID for the iTunes Store and App Store. This is where when once you put your credit card information in and you want to be the only one that is authorized to do purchases or whatever, yes, you want to use Touch ID for your iTunes and app purchases, okay? Now, the next screen comes up, it's called Apple Pay, okay? And uh, for the iPad, it uses your Touch ID to authenticate stuff like if you buy something online. So, we can go down and hit next. Right here, you could set up, you could add a card, you can add up a, a, a credit card or debit card for your Apple Pay. But at this time, we could go down and set this up later. But you could take time, you could do this now if you like. But uh, for video purposes, we're gonna set this up later. Okay, now here, this is important. Uh, this is iCloud Keychain, and this what this does is it saves all your uh, passwords and stuff was called iCloud keychain okay okay here you could use Siri Siri is a voice assistant that talk to you help you through uh, certain things like what's the weather like uh, stuff like that so we gonna go to use Siri alright diagnostics what this does is that anytime you have a problem or issue and your iPad crash or whatever it automatically sends the report straight to Apple this is good because what Apple does is it takes these reports and try to do bug fixes with them. So for video purposes, we will go on the send. So right here it has app uh, analytics. Uh, you will share with app developers or don't share. You know, we don't want to share. Welcome to your new iPad. Let's get started. All right, here is your interface. So right now, you are completely done with your iPad setup. So right now, you are able to go in the App Store, download apps or whatever, and stuff like that. So, this is Eric from Music Computer Solutions, and this is how you set up your new iPad. Thank you. Check me out on the next video. Peace. Subscribe to my channel.